Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Psyche Patshala, your study companion to learn psychology online. In this video, we will discuss about the stress. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon and choose the all option. If you have any feedback, suggestion or query regarding psychology area, please comment below. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Let's start today's topic. In our daily life, we use the term stress everywhere. The term stress first time coined by Hans Selye in 1936. The word stress comes from two Latin words. One, strictus. This meaning is tight or narrow. Another Latin term from stranger, which means to tighten. The root words reflects the internal feeling of tightness and the constriction of muscle and breathing reporting of many people under the stress. In our daily life, we use the term stress with the synonyms of the other various terms like as anxiety, OD and arousal. But these terms are not same. These terms have a distinct meaning. Anxiety is a feeling of oddiness nervousness or unease about something with an uncertain outcome. Next, the term we will be discussing about worry. Worry is the state of being anxious and troubled over the actual or potential problems. Among the two terms anxiety and worry, worry is controllable and anxiety is uncontrollable. Now the term we will be discussing about arousal. Arousal is a any physical or psychic activity of an organism or a person. The next term we will be discussing about the stress. Now we will discuss about the term stress. According to Cox 1978, stress is a stimulus that is any external event that triggers our body stress reaction. According to Selye 1956, stress is a response. Hans Selye defined stress as a non-specific response of our body to a demand of environment. According to Lazarus, stress is not just a stimulus nor a response rather than it is a appraisal of a person of how they see stimulus and response to it. Now we will discuss about the term stressor. Stressor is a activator of stress that is any physical, environmental or social changes that triggers our body reaction to a stress. Now we will discuss about response to a stressor that is a cognitive appraisal approach given by Lazarus. In this flowchart we see the first stressor that is an external stimulus that activate our stress. At first when we face the stressor uh, then we will gain our primary appraisal that the stressor is harmful or harmless for us. If the stressor is harmless to us, then the reaction is no stress. If the stressor is harmful to us, then the three reaction we will gain. That is biological reaction, changes in our heart rate, heartbeat, palpitation, sweat secretion, etc. Next reaction is a secondary appraisal. In this in this secondary appraisal, we find out our resources 
and third one is a emotional reaction that is anger fear depression grief rage shame etc now we will discuss about the process of secondary appraisal if we find out the adequate resources to cope with the stress then we we use the coping strategies to reduce our stress level and if we have inadequate resources then the stress level is remain or we find out the new resources or responses to the stressor now we will discuss about the flight or fight response by the cannon 1932 cannon is the earliest researcher on the stress according to cannon when we perceive the stress then our body reacts in two ways that is sympathetic response and another one is hormonal response both of them works simultaneously that is sympathetic response which is heart rate increase heartbeat increase palpitation heart pounding etc and the hormonal response that gives a increased level of blood glucose and oxygen level into the muscles and the brain to cope with the stress this is called flight or fight response literally meaning of this two term is flight is a escape by the social withdrawing or using substance abuse like as alcohol smoking etc and the fight symptom is aggressive response of a external stimulus that is the stressor now we'll discuss about the gas model given by hanseli 1956 general adaptation syndrome that is the meaning of gas in this model have three stages namely alarm stage resistance stage and exhaustion stage in alarm stage we first meet the external event or stressor that is called our shock phase in this shock phase the resistance level of our body is lower it is followed by the counter shock phase when the body's resistance power is increased in this alarm stage the sympathetic nervous system is activated and the adrenaline and noradrenaline hormone are secreted from the adrenal medulla from adrenal gland when the noradrenaline hormone is secreted from adrenal gland then uh, it's uh, triggered adrenal medulla portion for more secretion of the noradrenaline hormone this noradrenaline is responsible for the sympathetic arousal of our body due to extended release of noradrenaline the sympathetic arousal continues after the shock removal this is why when the external stimulus is removed sympathetic uh, sympathetic arousal continues next level is resistance level in resistance phase the sympathetic arousal of our body decreases and pituitary increases the acth which secretes the corticoids from the adrenal cortex and for this our blood glucose level is increase and oxygen level of our muscle is also increased this gives to a individual a higher energy to face with the stressor next stage is exhaustion stage if the resistance stage continues body's glucose level is decrease and the oxygen supply of our body is also reduced body's oxygen supply is also reduced and for this reason exhaustion occurs the physical signs of exhaustion is lower energy fatigue and 
weakness and the emotional symptoms of exhaustion is irritability anxiety fear etc when the physical behavioral and emotional symptom is aggregated then it is called as burnout now we will discuss about tend and befriend theory which is given by taylor in the year 2000 according to taylor when we meet some stressor we do not fight flight or get exhausted in all the situation sometimes we care and know the situation more for example child rearing is a stressful situation but women do not escape or get exhausted rather women care for child and know the child with a friendly behavior this behavior is known as tend and befriend behavior according to taylor the biological mechanism behind this is oxytocin hormone 